Captain Falcone, the Jellos will continue. The Jellos. <laughs> the Jellos. <laughs> Got the Jellos. <laughs> Okay, welcome to To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Yay! <laughs> you won't mind this, will you, for hours and hours and hours? Hey everyone, Christopher Paolini here, uh, as I'm sure you know. And today is gonna be a fun video. Today is gonna be my very first reaction video. And what I'm reacting to are bloopers uh, from the audiobook of To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. And as many of, many of you'll know, the audiobook was read by Jennifer Hale, who is an amazing voice actor and uh, absolutely wonderful person. But of course, like all of us, she doesn't always get it right the first time. So I have a cat on my lap. I have my second cup of coffee for the day. Mmm, coffee. And let's get to it. So I'm going to start off right from the game. I have not listened to this, by the way. This is my first time listening to these bloopers. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. All right. One more time, like a sentence. Okay, I want that character. I'm gonna read the whole novel in this voice. Okay, welcome to To Sleep in a Sea of Stars. Yay! <laughs> you won't mind this, will you, for hours and hours and hours? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, now I'm imagining the whole book read in a cartoon voice like that. Oh, geez. Oh, the Grigorovich might actually work. I, I, could I could see Grigorovich working with that voice or him using that voice just to make everyone uh, annoyed. Okay, let's go back to this. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Leaving the structure, she followed the tug of obscure sorrow to a... Huh. The tug of obscure sorrow. Welcome to the tug of, of obscure sorrow. This evening, we have a special... Mm. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now I'm imagining Jennifer actually actually narrating Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and the, the restaurant at the end of the universe. That would be absolutely perfect. As it just mirrors the voice... Sorry, I'm getting cat hair all over me. Okay, the cat's leaving my lap. Wonderful. Um, I'm actually imagining like the with the Jelly's voice that they, you know, like a butler with that sort of accent or voice. It actually worked pretty well. Well, yes, I am here to serve you on, on tentacles. All right, moving forward. The two term... Okay, now, that's just unfair. Too tumorous. Oh, man. You say that! <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay. That, that, re that reminds me, in the inheritance cycle, I, I had a couple of uh, ancient language words that were basically tongue twisters, like... Um, uh, the word that the Urgles call themselves is Urgralgra, which I was sort of invented to sound like gurgling wa gargling water, Urgralgra. But it's really hard to say, especially when you're trying to fit it into a sentence. Uh, and I also had the uh, the dwarves, uh, they have, there's this role within their clans, and it's uh, often held by a woman, but not always. But the word for that role is essentially the housekeeper of the clan in some ways, but the word in Dwarvish is Grimst Carvlors, and if you pluralize it, it's Grimst Carvlors, it, Grimst Carvlorsen, and if it's the housekeeper of housekeepers, it's Grimstens Carvlors or something, and even I have trouble saying that, and uh, the guy who read the audiobook, Gerard Doyle, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think he was, he, he was uh, spitting nails when he was having to read some of those words. Uh, tumorous, yes. Kira hung by the wall, dazed. The rest of the refugees were staring at her with fear and... Sorry, three. I, the, uh... I did. Dang it. You think I figured that out by now? Um. Kira hung by the wall. Ah, for God's sake. Say the three, Jen. Say the three. Okay. Three. You know... Reading is way harder than you think it is. I had to read the afterword of the book for the, for the record it for the audiobook, and I can't tell you how many takes I did and how many times I misspoke, even though I wrote the words and I know the words. And I'm still not entirely ha happy with the delivery I ended up with. It's a little sing songy, but just trying to get into a rhythm and do that for pages and pages and pages, and to consistently read and regurgitate in a way that makes sense for people, it's hard. It's really hard. Very good. I can see how that might have left you feeling neutered, she said. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> it's such a good scene. <laughs> okay. Get it back. Get it back. Get it back, girl. She said. She said. <laughs> My agent hates puns, and I love torturing him with puns. We've been doing this for years, and this section of the book, he was like rolling his eyes the whole time. Um, I'm so glad it stayed in the book. I, lo I love that mute section. It, it's, it, to me, it makes that whole, that whole chunk of the book. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Ah. <laughs> Every time I go into this microphone, I just lose it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we need to just put this out as the trailer for the audiobook. Oh no, we're in this corner. <laughs> oh god, okay. <gasps> I got this. Come on, we can do this. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay, I can do this. Oh, Christopher, it's all your fault. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> Look how my cheeks are hurting. She said. She said. Nope, you can hear I'm dying in both of those. Whew. <laughs> she said. She said. <laughs> Come on, <Jeff. laughs> Because I am! I'm losing it! Okay! Come on! Self-control! Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Come on! Come on, Callum! Come on, Callum! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> Captain Falcone, the Jellos will continue... The Jellos... The Jellos... <laughs> Call them Jellos! <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> no, I'm let's not do great. that. <laughs> Suddenly Joey shows up. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. That would be that's um oh, friends, Joey. How you doing? You know. Um, um how, you, how you doing? Captain Falcone. The jellos will continue the jellos. <laughs> the jellos. <laughs> Got the jellos. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the orange flavor. I'm with the orange flavor ship. <laughs> oh, I don't know how she Oh, Jesus. Now I'm done for 10 minutes of laughing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, come on. This is the serious part. Cephalopod cuisine. <laughs> Howie spoke with the Marines stationed on either side of the airlock. Sanchez and another man Kira didn't recognize. And... So I did, my God. And now it's time to go to Jellyland. The jelly was already crammed into the front end. The jelly was already crammed into the front end of... The jelly was already crammed into the front end... The jelly was already crammed into the front end of the car. Can you say front end of the car? I don't know. I don't think I can today. <laughs> okay. Front end of the car. Okay, so in, in the earlier versions of To Sleep, I was experimenting with different versions of like the technology for the jellies <clears throat> and all of their doorways and airlocks were, uh, I, I apologize this for this, but there's no way around it. They were sphincters, they were orifices and the orifices would dilate open and close. And uh, ended up changing that because it really was too much but I'm just trying to imagine poor Jennifer having to read an entire book where every time Kira is going in and out of a jelly room or something it's talking about the the sphincters or the orifices dilating open and closed and, and yeah she, she never would have finished she never would have finished I have to say it in whale and I'll get it mm. hello okay no sorry <laughs> there's a chance but it's literally astronomical haha <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, bad pun. Oh, Jesus. Is there, is there such a Whoa, thing as a good holy pun? Holy schnitzel. My is Mac Mini is like fire hot. Uh oh, <laughs> the giggles now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The train has left the tracks. <laughs> oh, God, it's a. <laughs> 
were a bit behind. The once the once the giggles start, it's horrible. I, I had to record a whole bunch of videos for promotion one time. They were like greetings to different bookstores, and I had to do like 50 of them in a row. And about, about halfway through, the gig I, I started laughing because the words lost all meaning, and I could not stop laughing for about 15 minutes. And the horrible thing was like everyone else was laughing too. So every time I would calm down, they'd start laughing, and it, it was it hurt. It was so bad. Oh, I've always heard it. Yeah, that's how I've always heard it. Yeah. We're a bit behind the fleet, so seven hours, give or take, before we're in range of the battered Hierophant. Oh, God, and now we're doing this. Oh, hold on just a sec. Hold on a second. So many people. So little brain. <laughs> <laughs> Writing feels like. <laughs> Extra blooper. Oh, Jesus. Oh boy. Well, you know what I what I need to do now is write an entire story about a punomancer just for uh, Jennifer to read, so she can she can lose she can lose it on every other sentence. I'd probably I'd probably lose it just reading it. Oh man. I, I again I'm amazed she got through the entire book. Um, <laughs> I'm, a, I, I'm really amazed she managed to actually read the entire book. Fortunately, you know the whole book is not full of puns. Um, it's just you know concentrated pockets of that so oh that was awesome um and of course jennifer did an awesome job of reading the book uh well i hope all of you enjoyed that i certainly did um we'll have to do this again with another project in the future uh in the meantime uh, i hope all of you are having a great time go forth be awesome i'll be back soon <laughs>